Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. So now let's proceed to the next deviation from Mendeley inheritance. Okay, so in this video we are going to discuss about link gene. Okay, so first of all, what is link gene? Okay, so link gene actually it is a genes that are linked on the same chromosome and then the genes tends to be inherited together okay so what is the meaning of uh, genes that are linked on the same chromosome okay so kalau kita compare in between this chromosome okay so untuk gene A dengan gene B kalau awak tengok dekat sini okay both gene A and B do not link because of uh, because of what okay gene A and gene B is located on a different chromosome okay tapi kalau awak compare dengan the second chromosome here okay gene A and also gene B are located in the same chromosome so this one we call as gene uh, the genes are link okay nah, so gene A and B are link okay so uh, kenapa kita katakan link gene sebagai uh, deviation from Mendelian inheritance because of what since the genes are link on the same chromosome so it does not follow law of independent assortment okay uh, so that's why if you look at here link gene do not undergo independent assortment and the genes do not separate during meiosis if crossing over do not occur okay so this is the difference between the genes which uh, which is does not link and also this is the link gene okay and then if you look at uh, this diagram okay so the first diagram is about mendelian hybrid which is it will follow the law of independent assortment why the other one is the diagram of the link gene so macam mana kita nak bezakan okay so let's say okay in this cell here it has a chromosome that contain gene capital S S besar S kecil Y besar dan juga Y kecil ataupun the second probability maybe based on the arrangement of the chromosome it will become okay S besar S kecil Y kecil Y besar so so, yang ni kita dah discuss based on the dihybrid cross that follow the Mendelian inheritance. So, bila berlaku crossing, so there are four possible gametes that will be produced. Means that kita akan tengok dekat sini, kalau untuk Mendelian hybrid, okay. So, the possible gamete, uh, it will have the first one adalah gamete with S besar, Y besar, okay. Yang kedua, S kecil, Y kecil. Yang ketiga, S besar, Y kecil. The other one, S kecil, Y besar. So, kalau awak tengok based on this one, so it will follow Mendel's law because of what it will produce four different gamete due to independent assortment. Okay, so how to uh, differentiate between the link gene? Okay, kalau awak tengok on the same chromosome, there are two different gene. Okay, gene P and also gene L. Okay, but for link gene, you have to take note. Link gene ada dua. The first one kita panggil sebagai link gene without crossing over or no crossing over. The other one adalah link gene with crossing over. Kalau without crossing over, so it will produce two possible gamete which is dia akan diturunkan bersama-sama lah. So, dia akan jadi P kecil L kecil for the first gamete and then for the second gamete, dia akan jadi P besar L besar. Tetapi kalau berlakunya link gene with crossing over, so what happen to the genes, okay? Uh, to the genes here, it will be uh, cross together. Okay, so that's why they akan menghasilkan four different gamete here. Okay, so uh, the first gamete are P kecil L kecil. Next, P besar L besar. Then P kecil L besar. The last one, P besar L kecil. Okay, so this is the diagram that shows deviation from Mendel's law. Okay, so kalau dia adalah link gene without crossing over, so it will produce two different gamete here. And then kalau dia adalah link gene with crossing over, so it will produce four different gamete like this. Okay, then uh, we look at the example. Okay, so example for the link gene is the inheritance of body color and wing size of Drosophila species. So remember, since Drosophila is the scientific name, so means that you have to underline. Okay, and then uh, for the gray, sorry, for the body color, okay, there are two phenotype here. The first one adalah gray body, the second one adalah black body. So in this case, gray body is the dominant phenotype which represent by the uh, capital B. So, capital B ni adalah dominant allele for grey body. Why? For small b here, it represent recessive allele for black body. And then, the other characteristic here, we look at the wing shape ataupun wing size. Okay, sorry. Okay, for the wing size, we have normal wing and also vestigial wing. So, in this case, normal ni adalah dominant. Vestigial ni adalah recessive. So, that's why untuk normal wing, okay, okay, uh, the capital V will represent the dominant allele for normal wing. Y small v will represent the recessive allele for vestigial wing. Okay. So, uh, 
next what you have to take note here kalau dia adalah soalan link jin okay so how to write genotype of an individual okay so let's say if the uh, phenotype okay of the drosophila here is homozygous grey body normal wings so how to write the genotype so grey and normal both a dominant phenotype which represent by capital B represent the dominant allele for grey body small b will rep, uh, sorry the uh, capital V will represent the dominant allele for normal wing so macam mana kita nak tulis dia punya genotype so you have to write like this b besar v besar slash okay so you have to remember link jin mesti kena ada slash okay slash b besar v besar and then remember since it is link jin so don't write the genotype like this maksudnya kalau awak tulis b besar b besar v besar v besar for the link jin question so you got wrong for this g no type so you have to be alert nanti kita akan tengok macam mana kita nak differentiate between the equation of linjin and also yang bukan linjin okay and then for homozygous black body vestigial wing okay uh, so the genotype will be b kecil v kecil slash b kecil v kecil okay and then remember kalau dia adalah linjin so you have to write the slash here Okay, and then don't forget, jangan tulis genotype dia macam ni. B kecil, B kecil, V kecil, V kecil. This is wrong. Kalau genotype macam ni, this one we refer to the dihybrid cross that follow the Mendelian inheritance. Okay, so now we look at the example here. Okay, so let's say, uh, firstly we look at the dihybrid which obey the Mendelian's law. Yang ni adalah di mana yang kita tengok kalau misalnya the question which is dia adalah dihybrid that obey Mendelian's law. So let's say kalau dia punya uh, phenotype adalah grey body normal wing, okay, which is homozygous dominant, cross with black body vestigial wing, which is homozygous recessive. Okay, so the parental genotype, kalau dia adalah dihybrid that obey Mendelian's law so you have to write like this okay ha, maksudnya for the first gamut okay so the gamut will be b besar v besar and then for the second gamut it will be b kecil v kecil and then when you do the crossing so you will get the f1 genotype is b besar b kecil v besar v kecil remember yang saya tunjuk dekat sini adalah dihybrid that obey mendelian's law bukan link gene okay and then let's say if the question wants you to do the test cross of the f1 okay so kita dah dapat the genotype of f1 here so since it adalah test cross so you have to cross it with homozygous recess Okay, and then the gametes for the heterozygous here, so akan ada empat gamet yang berbeza, which are the first one, B besar, V besar, second, B besar, V kecil, then B kecil, V besar, okay, and then the last one, B kecil, V kecil. Okay, and then for the second, uh, genotype here which is homozygous recessive so the gamut is b kecil v kecil so when you do the crossing so you will get the f2 genotype is like this lah uh, so b besar b kecil v besar v kecil b besar b kecil v kecil v kecil and then b kecil b kecil v besar v kecil the last one b kecil b kecil v kecil v kecil okay so what you have to do now Okay, so you have to write the F2 phenotypic ratio. So remember, kalau dia adalah dihybrid test cross that follow Mendelian's law, so you will get the ratio is 1 grey body normal wings to 1 grey body vestigial wing to 1 black body normal wings to 1 black body vestigial wing. Okay, so you have to take note here. If the hybrid that obey or that follow Mendelian's law, okay, when it is undergo the test cross, so the ratio that you will get is 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so now we compare with the uh, hybrid link gene, okay, which does not obey the Mendelian's law. Okay, so now we look at the link genes. Okay, so what is the difference between the uh, dihybrid cross that follow the Mendelian's law with the link gene? Okay, so if you look at this one, dia sama. Kalau awak tengok dekat sini, it will also involve two characteristics which is we look at the body color and also the wing size. Okay, tetapi since dia adalah link gene, so you have to take note about how to write the genotype. Okay, so let's say the parental genotype here, it will involve homozygous grey body normal wing cross with uh, homozygous black body vestigial wing okay uh, so here you have to write the cross okay so 
how to write the genotype for homozygous grey body normal wing. Okay, so means that you have to write like this. B besar, V besar, slash B besar, V besar. Since this is link gene, so you have to write the slash. Okay, kalau untuk homozygous black body vestigial wing, so it will become B kecil, V kecil, slash B kecil, V kecil. Okay, and then what is the gametes? Okay, so for the first one, dia akan jadi B besar, V besar. Second adalah B kecil, V kecil. So, when you do the crossing to get the F1 genotype, so you will get B besar, V besar, slash B kecil, V kecil. Okay, and then what is the F1 phenotype? So, all are grey body and normal wings. Okay, and then you have to remember, for link genes, there are link gene without crossing over and also link gene with crossing over so now we look at the dihybrid of link gene without crossing over so what is the possible phenotype f2 phenotype that will be produced bila kita lakukan test cross of the f1 sebab f1 kita dah dapat genotype dia adalah b besar v besar slash b kecil v kecil so bila awak buat test cross so you have to cross it with homozygous recessive so kalau dia adalah without crossing over so maksudnya gamete yang akan terhasil cuma akan ada dua which are the first one B besar V besar satu lagi adalah B kecil V kecil ok and then for the homozygous recessive here adalah B kecil V kecil and then when you do the crossing to get the F2 genotype so the genotype of the first one it will become B besar V besar slash B kecil V kecil and then the second one B kecil V kecil slash V kecil V kecil so the F2 phenotype Okay, for the first genotype here adalah grey body, normal wing. And then for the second one adalah black body, vestigial wing. So, as a conclusion, kalau dia adalah dihybrid link gene without crossing over, for the phenotype, F2 phenotype that you will get from the test cross of the F1, dia akan ada dua phenotype sahaja. Tapi kalau kita compare dengan the hybrid of link gene with crossing over. So, sama juga bila awak buat F1 test cross, so you have to cross it with homozygous recessive. Tetapi, kalau dia adalah link gene with crossing over, for the heterozygous here, mesti kena ada four different gamete like this. Okay, which are the first one adalah B besar, V besar. Okay, next B kecil, V kecil. Then B besar, V kecil. The other one B kecil, V besar. Okay, and then untuk homozygous recessive adalah B kecil V kecil. So, when you do the crossing to get the F2 genotype Okay, so awak akan dapat the first one adalah B besar, V besar slash B kecil, V kecil then B kecil, V kecil slash B kecil, V kecil next B besar, V kecil slash B kecil V kecil, then the last one B kecil, V besar slash B kecil, V kecil. Then you have to identify the phenotype of the F2 generation. So the first one adalah grey body normal wing. This one black body vestigial wing. Then grey body vestigial wing. The last one black body normal wing. So bila kita identify of all of the phenotype here, so you have to differentiate. Okay, yang mana adalah parental phenotype, yang mana adalah recombinant phenotype. So if you look at this one, okay. Both grey body normal wing and black body vestigial wing adalah parental phenotype. Sebab apa awak tengok balik uh, ciri parent tadi. So, dua-duanya adalah follow the parental trait. Uh, tetapi kalau grey body vestigial dan juga black body normal adalah recombinant phenotype. Kenapa recombinant? Sebab dia ada ciri untuk kedua-dua parent. Uh, contohnya grey vestigial. So, grey daripada parent yang pertama, vestigial daripada parent yang kedua. So, yang tu yang kita panggil sebagai recombinant phenotype. Okay, and then... You have to take note here, usually kalau di dalam soalan, dia akan bagi number of the progeny, okay, of the F2 generation, contohnya. So, untuk parental phenotype, okay, dari segi number of the progeny, dia akan show large number compared to the recombinant phenotype. Because of what? Recombinant phenotype usually smaller in number. So, this is how you have to identify the question of link gene. Kita tengok bergantung kepada number of parental and also number of recombinant phenotype. So, since dari segi bilangan, parental dengan recombinant adalah berbeza, so kita tak boleh assume ratio nya adalah 1, 1, 1, 1. So, since the ratio is not 1, 1, 1, 1, so that's why this is a dihybrid link gene with crossing over. Okay, so later we uh, look at the example of the question of the link gene.